Hello to pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy, Alvin Drill. So I decided to replace my current Wi-Fi system at home by the TP-Link Deco AXE5300. So this is a three-band mesh Wi-Fi system, meaning uh, it's going to work with 2.4, 5, and 6 gigahertz band. So the characteristics are as follows. Its speed is up to 5,300 megabit per second from those 2,400 are going to be for the 6 gigahertz band, another 2,400 are going to be for the 5 gigahertz band, and 516 are going to be for the 2.4 gigahertz band. It, it covers up to, to 7,200 square feet or 669 square meters. It can connect up to 200 devices, for which for a home network, I think is a good amount. This is the three pack. It also comes a single one or a two pack. The, now it also comes with two, year, two years warranty. And this is not the latest model. This one came out a few years ago. The reason I selected this because it's affordable. It has what I need. And it's more than enough, I think, for most home systems. So I'm going to leave the link in the description below if you're interested. So this is what it comes in the box. Three decos, each one, uh, all of them are the same. They are light, so you can put it anywhere, really. So the reason I select this model is because they have, each deco has three ports, each one of one gigabit per second. So that's really good. And I have devices that cannot be connected or might perform better when uh, they are physically connected or cannot be added to the Wi-Fi system. So that's the main reason I chose, I decided to upgrade. So as you can see, all of them are the same. Also in the box, it comes with uh, three power adapters to, well, power the decals. The other important thing is the Ethernet cable that is used to connect the modem from the ISP internet service provider to one of the decks. That doesn't, doesn't matter where, which one you choose. One is going to be the main and the other two are going to be the satellite. So let's open one of the power adapters so you can see how it looks. So they are a little bulky as you can see over here. And once you have decided where you want to configure the deco, you just have to plug it in the back of any of the decos, just like that. So now let's proceed to actually configure them. Okay, this is where my internet modem is located. So this is from my ISP. And now we are going to connect it to the deco. So this is the cable that came with the deco. So you connect it to your modem like that. I'm going to pull it up and allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera. Right there. And now you can use any port, doesn't make a difference. I'm going to use the one at the bottom like that. And this is my old Wi-Fi system. This is the Google Nest Wi-Fi. So the reason I mentioned before I'm replacing it is because this one doesn't have ports. And to be honest, the app is not really great. So I connected to the power like that, it's yellow. And now I'm going to bring my cell phone. Of course, you need to download the Deco Tepling app. This is how it looks from the App Store or Google Store. And you need to create an account. Once you have done that, you open the app and you click on Let's Begin right there so it's going to look for the deco as you can see it's going to ask you to join the deco xxxx network if this is not working check the if the the wi-fi is on on the cell phone enable location services and allowed local network access to the deco app while you are doing this configuration after that you can disable those okay so it's going to take some time and it's telling me that we cannot find the deco make sure that uh, the, the LED is um, blinking blue, which it is right now. So what's the color of, of the LED? It's blue, it's pulsing blue, you, you cannot click that. So we close that out and try again. So I'm showing you that in this case it's going to fail a few times. I just want to show you the process. So it failed again. And now I'm going to close everything and start over like what we did at the beginning. So now it's telling me Deco wants to join Wi-Fi network, Deco A3832. Do you want to join? Yes, that's what we were, we were waiting for. And now it's going to try to find the Deco again. And now it's going to fail one more time. So this, I'm going to try one more time. And it's going to ask me the same, yes, join. So it's going to fail one more time. So this time I'm going to go to connect to Deco manually like that. I didn't press anything else and right away I was able to connect. As you can see, connected to Deco. Deco XE5300 is found. This is the SSID. 
and now set up decal. So apparently, it, you, it, it might fail a few times, I just wanted to show you how it works. Connect deck to your modem, that's already done. Restart your modem, I didn't do this part, modem restarted. So where are you going to place the decal? So you can select any of the default names or you can click or press custom and create a name. So for me, it's going to be main. Next, dynamic IP address is fine. I don't want to set that up. Maybe it, it's changed by the uh, ISP. And now you have to create a Wi-Fi network with a password. After you have done that, it's going to look like this, creating your Wi-Fi network. And while we're waiting, this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. That really helps the channel a lot. So thank you, thank you very much. So this one took a few minutes. The video is sped up here. And after that, it's going to ask you, Deco wants to join Wi-Fi network. Yes, join. And this one is going to take another few seconds, tested internet connection and unable to connect to the internet. Make sure the Deco is connected to the port that allows internet access. If the Deco is connected, restart the modem. So I'm going to try again. And this time Deco is now online and your ne the Deco network is now on. So next we're going to proceed placing the other deco in the living room. Welcome back. So we're in the living room now and this is the other deco, the second one. This is my old wife, uh, Google Wi-Fi Nest network. Uh, well, my Google Nest Wi-Fi. So I'm going to connect the deco like that. The light is yellow as on the first one. Now I'm having an error in the um, in the app, as you can see over here. So it says zero online when I am obviously connected. So at the top, I'm going to click reconnect like that. It's going to take a few seconds and it's going to give me updated data. So as you can see one online client, everything looks good. And now oh, it's asking me for <laughs> to rate it, not right now. Now to add a new deco, we have to go to the top right to the plus symbol as you can see over there. So I'm going to click that. Well, actually I'm checking something else. So I'm going to click on the plus icon and add a deco unit. So it's going to ask me if I find a suitable spot. I'm going to go next, next, next because I know where I want to place it. So now it's uh, it's blinking blue and now it's going to look for the, for the deco. So this one took a while, like two minutes or so. The video is sped up here, of course, so you don't have to wait all this time. And after that it failed, I'm going to try again to find it. And now it says found it. So add this device the, in the living room. Yes. So we continue configuring the settings. And now this one is done. As you can see, the light is green, so it's working. So now let's go to the third one. So I'm in the basement right now and we're going to do the same process. So I'm going to look for the deck over here. So this one also took like two minutes, one minute and a half, something like that. And after that, I'm connected to the deco. So at this device, where is this? There is no default option for basement. So let's type that out or whatever name you might want to give it. So next, deco has all the configurations. And now we can see everything looks good. You, we can see the three decos over there. So got it, we have three. Now we're going to test the internet speed. So my connection right now is 100 megabits per second. So as you can see, I'm getting 112, 111, and I am in the basement next to the deco. So my upload speed is similar to that. And that's how you set up a Teppelin Deco in your network. Maybe you want to watch one of these videos now. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, as you know, I'll see you in the next video.